accountability is the main thing with changing mentality. You have to be held accountable for your actions and the things you do. And that's what I instill in them. And I don't let them off the hook. We have fun all the time. But when it's time to get down, it's time to get down. They rely on each other, they depend on each other, they respect each other, they love each other, and they love their brotherhood with each other. You call them like, yo, we about to go, they, they waiting by that phone. No, we just ran out of gas, bro. <laughs> I hate pumping gas, first of all. I hate going to the gas station. So I will ride my my car until and I ride it until it run out, and I try to time it. But and we we was able to roll right in there through a light and everything, and I was on the right side of the, of the gas station. But, God is good all the time, you know, he's, he's blessing me, he's blessing these kids, he's blessing everything, you know, he blesses everything. He's from here. He's out in LA. Real good dude, man. The parents got a van. And I'm like, well, I don't want to ride in a van because I know how them vans be. And we had, what, 14, 15 people? A 15 passenger for everybody out here. A 15 passenger don't fit 15 people. I just want you to know that now. So when I hit him, I'm like, yo, I need a rental. Come through. So we went to, you know, his spot right around the corner from the airport. And he gave us a lecture. What's, What's up? You still being bad, huh? Still got an attitude all the time and shit. Tell him what you did. That was sis off the bill. I mean, the, the relationship is just, that's my little sis. You know what I'm saying? And you seen as soon as we got there, FaceTime, like, you know, I think I called her. We FaceTime. I don't know what we did, but she like, where you at? I'm like, I touched down. I'm up at Caleb joint. She was like, oh, I'll be there in a minute. Don't leave. Pull it right up on us, you know? Show love. most genuine dude that you ever can meet kind-hearted just genuine and he loved the kids him and his wife opened up they check they open their checkbooks they open up their home their house everything for us 
you know, just to see you guys out here, man, this is like a dream to shoot for me because uh, when I was younger, my coach did the same thing for me or whatever, and it's, uh, it's got me this far. And maybe, and hopefully, you know, some of you guys can do the same thing as to give y'all some type of motivation to do the same thing. Lord, we come to you today and give a thanks to you for allowing us to see you another day. Uh, Lord, I thank you for blessing everybody to give us safe and safe and sound on their flight. Uh, also, Lord, I pray for everybody's safety and the for this tournament. Uh, Lord, I ask that you bless the food that we're about to eat, and I give all thanks to you in your name. Amen. 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 Hey, fellas, before we start, before we start eating, um, Nick, we, we as parents, coaches, we want to thank you and your wife for the hospitality, for y'all opening up your bank account. <laughs> you know what I'm saying to make to make this you know feasible for us and you know we came out here last year it was fun but you know just to come back this year with a following like this and with y'all here it just it all worked out you know and I really appreciate it I thank you from the bottom of my heart I know these kids do they don't know how to say it sometimes but I guess winning is they think is showing you their appreciation so you know we're gonna come out here and we're gonna do our thing again you know Let's make it happen. Your mother is here. Get over there and fix your mom plate. Come on, fix your parent plate. It's just beautiful people that you meet that really care about your, you know what I'm saying, care about your passion and your dream. I know for a fact all of them appreciate, they're very appreciative of it. They're very appreciative of it. And like I said, when we was there, the way they show it is busting their ass on that floor. That, that that's that's their way of thanking everybody for believing in them or helping them or helping us. We gonna win for y'all. We not gonna lose. I can count on two. We we have not lost more than ten games in five years. So I, I know they're appreciative, but I know the way they they the way they thank everybody is we gonna win. We tell kids they can sleep in the bed, whatever. Baby J wants to sleep under the table. Herschel don't care where he sleeps, how he sleeps, long as he got a cover and a pillow. He don't even need a, he don't even care about a pillow. He didn't even care about a cover. He just wanted to lay down. Like <laughs> you wake up, Herschel is not gonna be woke. He's the last person to get up. He just want to see him. He sleeps through everything. Mike Aaron is the goofiest dudes. They, they can't. And, and they that. Chicken. Them three shouldn't be together. Because they goofy as hell. Little Day Day, he, he, the, he the cool one. He just sit back. He like the little grown man. Jaws like. He like the uncle. The funny uncle, he gonna laugh with you, kick it with you, but when y'all acting silly, he just gonna sit back and look at y'all. Like, I don't know what y'all talking about. I ain't in that. Oh man, that's that's the job. Watch your face, bro. Ain't nobody ever worse like me, bro. I was in a, I was who was Norm, bro. That's his fault. Was he on half? He didn't have to do that. He had a whole bed. Hey, see if you fit these shorts, then. Oh, no. I look strong in this. Oh, I look big in these. I look my arms up. But all them together, it's non-stop. They all like each other. And that's that's important. Oh, they all together. They all rock together. They all eat together. They laugh together. They, they be mad together. And nothing lingers. <laughs> Anyway. Yes, I am. I shut up. Y'all know you're not. You don't do. Look at this I 
take this thing to a whole nother level. We ain't showing no mercy on nobody. All right? This not my team. Every time each one of y'all touch the ball, first thing y'all do is I'm going to get my. That's why we can't get no flow. Swing the ball. Swing the ball. That's all we got to do is swing the ball. Stop trying to play hero ball or whatever. He has a mismatch. That's what I'm saying. Come up and get it. We penetrate to kick. When do we triple through double team? Why we can't get our press man? Swing the basketball, play the f***ing game. If you can't do that, I'm going to switch it As soon as I say something to y'all, your body language is all messed up. That trickles down. That trickles down. Like that's that's bringing down the whole morale. You got you got three or four guys going super hard, and y'all out there trotting, chilling. Everybody want to make the super play. Everybody want to make the super play instead of just doing this. Do it in front of you. Do it in front. Of you. Move over, DJ. Do it in front of you. Instead of dude just doing this. And running the floor, everybody got to do the super play. Super, super play. I got to Super, super. I'll tell them, cut that motherfucking camera off. Since everybody want to play today. I just tell them, film me. Film me and Coach King. Film Odyssey. Film the parents. Don't film y'all. Because this is what we plan for now. The camera. They were playing for the internet, ooh, I play. And that's what... Instead of going in, ah, give me this layup, it's ha, ha, all, nah, we, we don't, we don't do that. You know, I, I love my kids to be themselves and you play off reaction, but every time down, it got to be the snatching, between, between, cross, nah, we, we, we don't, no, nah. come on, y'all know we don't play like that, ball sticking, the ball was sticking a little bit too long. Stuff like that. So I knew it wasn't the team. 
it was the camera. Cause everybody want that, them views and them likes. You're gonna, you're gonna get looks. You're gonna get views. You're gonna get that. Play the right way. You don't, you don't stop playing for the camera because when you start playing for the camera, you start. It was just a selfish. bad run. You just had a bad game. Hey, That's what y'all say? Let's right, move I'm always up to that. We had a bad game. I apologize. You got me on camera? I apologize. I apologize. You play at five, right? Right? Seven. Seven? We play at seven, right? We gonna have a bad game? No. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna hold y'all to that. I'm gonna put my flip flops back on, take the checks off. Put my flip flops back on. I'm just gonna sell myself. It was a bad game, okay. Woo, well, y'all won. But where was the leadership throughout the entire game? Did anybody step up, say, all right, we gonna do this? He don't count. Y'all coaches don't count. Y'all need to lead each other. The five that's out there, bench, y'all having conversations, y'all can lead too. It's more to it than, okay, we have a bad game. I ain't hear nobody encouraging nobody. Everybody want the ball. It's only one basketball. You ain't gonna get the ball sometimes. If, you, if your team ain't miss you, okay. Say, hey, you missed me. Okay, cool. You can get it the next time. But I, I want to see leadership in the 7 o'clock game. The most important thing in this is Odyssey. I always want her there in the moments because she's a woman. A black woman. A strong black woman. Dealing with adversity in the WNBA. In a man's game. So you take that. They respect her. There's no way in hell they're not going to respect their mama. You feel what I'm saying? So I put them two together. I want them to hear a woman's voice. Because when you go, when you leave this woman and you respect that woman, you're going to go home and respect that queen you got at home. And that's, that's why I always need her there. And she's talking the language they like. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, bro, you got to get out here. You got to dip through that. So they looking like, but what she preaching, all you got to do is go on here and see it. You feel what I'm saying? With that woman speaking to them in this basketball shit and they respecting it, they respecting their moms and, and the women at home. I just want them to respect women because I don't want them to ever think, oh, it's a girl. You know, that's how young men think. You know what I'm saying? I ain't listening to her or uh, whatever. No. Now you see. Because she'll take every last one of them out there and tear their ass up on the floor. And sit down and clap in their face like, yeah. So now they understanding. So you got to put the realistic in their face. That's realistic. Oh, you got a pro. She, you know what I'm saying? You just seen Kobe. But you got the L.A. Sparks starting point guard right here, too. But she's sitting on your bench. He's sitting up top. Or he's sitting over there. She's sitting right here talking to you. Taking you all to eat. Laughing with you. Bro, why in front of me? You know what I'm saying? So, I just want them to understand that my thing is you blessed. God has given you a talent that everybody can't do and can't have, that don't have. So if and you're not going to disrespect this game. So you're going to go out and give it 100 to 10 or you, you're not going to give it at all. And, I, and I'm, I'm here to remind you, you on some bull Pick it up or I'm going to sit your ass down.
is hilarious. Aaron is funny as hell. But that Kool Aid, man. <laughs> It's not. Nice. You did it to me. Yeah, it's like a little sour. 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 Hey, come in. Damn, kid, I went crazy. My pizza was crazy. I'm, I'm like that pizza joint was, it was hilarious. <laughs> it was hilarious. They, they didn't know what was going on with that. Like, we can get what we want on a pizza? Yeah, all you want. So it ain't gonna be too much? No, you get whatever you want. And it was just cool, the kids was one half and one half. It, it was cool. And they really enjoyed that. Like, something different. Like, that was a different experience. With these kids, it's, it's kind of easy because I've been with them so long, so they know they know what they expect. They know when it's a time and a place. It's time to put all the bullshit to the side. Let's get it in. They're gonna do a lot of foul. This is what the refs is. Play defense with your feet. Don't take your aggression away. You can choose your back. Right. Yeah, Dominate on three. Yeah. Dominate One. on three. One, two, three. Dominate. Dominate.
love these dudes, man. I mean, it make it even better because you got a son that's coming up with him. You know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, everybody into it, but you, 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 you doing something that's big, man. That, that, that might take you a long way. That's, that, that's a blessing, bro, for real. From that time, it's gonna be, it's gonna be hectic. You know, they want to play right away. So my thing is get them out the gym. They sit around, sit around, sit around. They don't get anxious, anxious, anxious. And then when they come out, they're gonna be tight. Because they anxious, anxious, anxious. So get them about it. Let's go do something. Take their mind off basketball. We're not even thinking about basketball. Let's go eat. Let's go somewhere and sit down and kick it. The mall thing was great because they got to do other shit. You feel what I'm saying? They ate, they chilled, they kicked it. You know, it was a time for them to relax and rejuvenate. They ate good, they laughed, they kicked it, they played on their phones, listened to music. Now they come out like, oh, okay, let's go kick ass. I'm not worried about offense at all. I worry about defense. Every time you see me working with them on something, it's about defense. Offense wins games. Offense gets you to, ooh. Defense wins championships. So my focus to them always is defensively do your job. You do your job defensively, we straight. I don't worry about nothing. Just do your job. Give me everything you got. Once we punch them in the mouth, they're going to lay down. They're going to lay down once we punch them in the mouth. Trap's got to be good. If a guy get beat, I better see that rotation. We got to communicate. We got to talk. Our guards are better. Our team is better. Hey, CT on three, family on six. One, two, three. CTL. Four, five, six.
came out. They came out. 8990 bad boys. That's up. Filing hard as hell. They tried though. That was a that was a good tactic. That didn't work with us because they don't know these kids from the slum slums too. Okay, so he stepped over Baby J with the left leg and then with the right leg, knee him. I lost it. That ain't bad. That was intense. Like, them kids really tried to come out and punk us. We good, we good, we apologize. Let's go, man. Hey, keep our heads, man. We good. Hey, don't fall into the trap. They think they can punk us, but we from a whole different genre. That long <laughs> beat don't mean to the beat, baby. All right? So I don't... We just out here to play basketball, but if you want to do that, we can stoop to that level, but why? We ain't got to do We about to y'all up. We about to expose y'all. And that's what we did. In that moment, I said, Herschel, come here. Why won't you just take this game up? I want the ball. I'm like, dog, I need you to score. I want you to up. Open him up, dance with him. He just looked at me like, all right. Chopping, it was over. After he did that, it, they they just they head started going down. Hey, go! That's the different dynamic of players that I have. Every every experience, every trip, every game is a learning experience for them, and we learn something new every time. God don't make mistakes. It's a reason that these kids are so successful.
and not being that not having an opportunity to have all the luxuries as other kids have it, jams to practice in and we just got uniforms this trip these are our first real set of uniforms you feel what i'm saying we we hooped in t-shirts when we started Oh, we went to the big pool. <laughs> Y'all like, we going swimming. We going to the pool. He's like, man, y'all at the pool, we leaving the hotel, job. Pool, you know, we ain't going to the pool. He's like, no, not that pool, the big pool. I'm like, the big pool? And I know you was like, the big pool? What the hell is you talking about? He was like, the big pool. He like, the ocean? Yeah. Man. This is one of these kids, these kids. That's that moment where you be like, Lord bless them. Outside looking in, somebody gonna make it. And it's not, I'm not even talking about basketball. I'm gonna be a millionaire from this. You feel what I'm saying? And they experience. And they gotta do what I'm doing, what I did for them. They have to. It's just gonna be embedded in them, you know, to give back, you know. So it's just like, wow, they'll never forget. <laughs> never ever forget this and I want it, you know what I'm saying, I, want, I don't want them to, dope. Yeah, 